Mercedes 2005 C230 compressor supercharged four cylinder okay right here right behind this little vacuum or EGR it looks like an EGR valve okay right behind it coolant temperature sensor okay got a clip remove this clip undo it there is a also a locking clip in the back all you have to do is pull this bad boy out here's my coolant temp sensor for my Mercedes there that's the part number, okay? And it's something simple. Remove and replace. Okay? It does come with an O-ring, okay? O-ring goes through there onto here, okay? So I'm going to be quick. I'll have this one ready for when I change that one out, okay? So here we go. Okay, so you lift this little tab, 
put a screwdriver in here and then you grab both at the same time okay you're supposed to be able to unplug it there you go see done so it's a little tab right behind the silver that keeps it in place still so that's that i also have a couple of rags underneath because i know coolant's going to be gushing out of there so what i gotta do is that i gotta remove it out put the other one in very quickly okay managed to get that clip out moment of truth see how much uh coolant's gonna come out of here all right so here we go guys gotta be quick gotta have the other one ready all right so see if i can do a little trick here all right remove and replace i already have the seal in there in place all right i guess that's it y'all see that <laughs> It wasn't that much coolant that came out of. That'll be more, but look at that. Boom. Here it comes. The champions of one handers. Done. Alright. Not much coolant came out of it. That's the old one right there. It's giving off a lot of codes. So had some a little rag. Not much coolant flow at the bottom. There you go guys. Coolant temp sensor done remove and replace and installed less than 30 seconds oh wow that was good all right guys and next i'm gonna take the bumper out just enough not all the way just enough so i can take these uh headlights out I already loosen them up they'll be on the way they're going because this is stock and look it's already peeling it's looking kind of hazy my wife deserves better so she's gonna get a, a new set matter of fact i'm gonna bring the box out here we go here's the box that's the company right here and I got them from eBay look at this box this box is pretty damn stout it is protected though I did take this thing apart and see what it was and uh, the headlight is in here look at this look at this I wonder they gave me so much oh oh let me flip this over right on the phone Brand new. Wow. These are huge. These highlights are huge. The sole assembly is not just here. Look at it. Wow. And it's heavy too. So. Alright. That's plastic. But hey. Better than what she's got right now. So. I'm going to install it. So some of you are going to ask me. Why did I have to take the bumper out just enough? Well. There is a bracket attached to the headlight. I don't think you can see anyways. It's in here mounts up in there I don't know if you can see it but this is attached to it right here and this is what slides onto the bumper this is what aligns the bump this is what aligns the bumper in you know to guide the bumper in and keep it secure at the same time this is attached to the headlight and a bracket so that's why the bumper had to come out to get access to this so same thing on both sides okay so then now I just gotta take Eight millimeter screws of 5 16 so the one on the side here that I just showed you won't be able to see it though but you'll know that one right there and this one right here just to remove the headlight so as far as taking the bumper out it's self-explanatory just take a couple bolts here a bunch of clips underneath you know what I mean just take it apart and be careful with it a couple brackets but here we go we're gonna take this out Thank you. 